Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about the Dell 2-in-1 device, specifically the touchpad that's located at the bottom of your keyboard and the different gestures you can do that trigger different actions with your device. The first one is probably one that you're familiar with, it's the one finger gesture. Um, you place it on the touchpad and you can obviously you can move your mouse around, um, but if you place it on a clickable link and just tap, it will open that link. You can also click where you're actually pressing down, same thing, same action, but a tap does the same thing. The next thing is a two finger gesture. And so as I'm on this page and I wanna to scroll to see some different content, I can take two fingers, place it on here. I'm not clicking, I'm just placing them on there. And I can scroll the page. And I can scroll back to the top. The second two fingered uh, gesture is going to be a right click. So with a traditional mouse, you can use the right click button. Uh, we don't have that here, but if you use two fingers and click, you'll get that additional options menu. And there it is right there. So again, a two finger click is the same as right click. And then the last two finger gesture is the uh, pinch and zoom. So I'm taking my two fingers here placing them on the touchpad, and if I expand out, I am zooming in, and if I bring my fingers back together, I am uh, going back to the original size. So two fingers, pinch and zoom. Next, we're gonna talk about three finger gestures. The first one is three fingers touching the touchpad at the same time, and you can see that the start menu is activated. Cortana's there if you have that um, enabled. If you click again with three fingers, it goes away. The next thing is the three finger swipe. So we're going to swipe up and you can see all of the tasks. This takes me into task view. You can see all of the different things I have uh, open and I'm working on at this time. If I swipe back down, it goes back to where I was. If I swipe again, I can get to the desktop. So there's three different positions for the three finger swipe. All right. The last thing is called a three finger slice or swipe, but it's left to right. So if I have three fingers down and I go left, you can see that those apps came back up, those tasks, but if I slice um, side to side, I can switch to those different tasks now. So it's a slice and it's left to right. All right, you guessed it four finger gestures. So there's only two of them that I know of and they're probably not ones that you're gonna use a lot. Well, I'll let you decide for yourself. But the first one is a four finger click. So you gotta get four fingers on the touchpad and press down. And you can see up pops the notification center and then you have all sorts of other things that you can do there. If I click four again, four fingers, it goes away. And the last one, this is the one that I'm not sure how often it will get used. I know that I don't use it, um, and you'll be able to see when I try to demonstrate it for you. But it's four fingers and a slice. And so with Windows 10, you can have virtual desktops. And I don't typically do this. You can um, see them here. But uh, this is how you would switch between those desktops. So four fingers, and you slice left or right. Um, so there's one desktop, another desktop, somewhere in here I have another one. Oh, there it is. So there it is again. Again, it's kind of tricky to get those four fingers on there, um, but I did want to show you this. These are the settings for the touchpad. So you can actually go in here and make some adjustments and customize it if you're interested, but you can also get to this area that just tells you again, what do all these different things do? So here's the three finger gestures, the four finger gestures. Um, I think there's even another video in here, a short video over here, um, that uh, can show you how to do some of these things as well. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I do want to leave you with a final resource. I'm going to link this to the video description uh, below. Uh, but here you have from Windows 10 support page uh, some written directions on the gestures that we've featured in this video and uh, a diagram or two. So thanks for watching. Until next time.